Hello ladies and gentlemen, Heko here with another interview for the upcoming fight night. Today I am joined by Enigmatic, player from Team Order of the Sleeping Dragon. Dude, are you excited for the upcoming series against Wrong Orc? Oh, I'm very excited. Uh, I have a couple friends on that team. Mm. Uh, most of them are pretty decent players, so it's going to be a very fun series for me especially. I know most of my team also knows quite a few of them and have played with them, played against them before. Mm -hmm. uh, mainly Elheim, I know he was originally going to be playing against them in HGC before mm -hmm. everything happened. So uh, he's he knows them quite well, yeah. and I think we're all going to have a pretty fun time playing it. Oh, that's actually, that's actually good. Like, at least like, you'll be having fun, so that's what we're looking forward. Uh, so, so far, Wrong Orc won two series in a row, uh, which means that they managed to stack a nice prize pool. Uh, yesterday I had a talk with McCree and he personally, uh, he would actually keep on playing like more and more until he gets like a big stash, but he's not sure if his team would actually support this idea. Uh, do you know uh, what is your team's plan in case if you win? Um, right now that's something we haven't talked about. We, mm -hmm. We're still going to be talking about that over the next few days. Um, right now my mindset is if we do win, I think we will play more, but that's personally how I feel. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, and the last team that they beat uh, at fight now was Celeb Gaming. Um, excluding the first game, uh, they performed really good. Do you think you'll uh, you'll give them a hard time? Um, I think we'll be a very good match for them. I I think we know their weakness as well, and I think we know their strengths well, and we I think we know what we want to do against them in these upcoming sets, especially with our map picks and uh, hero pools that we have for these maps. Mm, when you say you know what to do, is it something like that you need to ban Tracer? Uh, <laughs> that's that's definitely uh, something we're looking into. Makri mm. plays a really mean Tracer. He's also got a pretty good Hanzo, so yeah. we'll I, be looking at him. I asked like if, like if anyone on his team like is looking forward to play a hero, and he said, like, no, like no one really wants to like play something specifically. He personally wants to play Tracer, but he doesn't think that he's getting to do that anytime soon. <laughs> yeah, he's pretty well known for it, so it'll be something that's contested in mm -hmm. this set for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, but what about your own picks? Are you planning to stick to the meta? You know, like I know, like Diablo. Uh, what else there is? Like like Zerato and stuff. Or are you thinking to provide maybe some fun combos and maybe crazy combos? Uh, it depends on how the series is going, for sure. Um, we we have some stuff that we're pretty excited to do. Uh, some stuff we haven't really shown off too much. Choco. But um, no, uh, no, no. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Um, <laughs> we have a we have a few things though. Uh, some pocket picks as well. A lot of us have heroes we're well known on, so maybe we can force bans on those as well, or even take them in mm. some of these games. Mm -hmm. uh, when it comes to your team and unusual picks, uh, I think it was Corgi that played Ilden in your last game of Division S. And so, like, just in case, like so far, this hero's win rate in Fight Night is not so good uh, because like Wrong Orc uh, and Celeb Gaming went for Ilden and the bolt, like the when they played it, like they lost. So you should be careful with that pick. Um, well. Mm -hmm. But you'll have like the same roster as you have for Division S, right? Um, we are subbing out one player. Oh, I which one don't is it? feel like I can announce that right now. Okay. But mm -hmm. It will. Um, it will be seen during fight night. Yes. Okay, but we did have... you get to practice with that player? Yes, we've practiced with him many times in the past. He's played with pretty much all of us mm -hmm. quite a while. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, then I'll actually like not delay you any longer because it's really like more than like it's like midnight twenty for me. So I'm, I'm you know, like I'm here, but like I'm slowly getting sleep and I have things to do. But thanks a lot for finding time and like chatting with me. It's it's a pleasure. Thank you. Um, Thank you for having me. Uh, do you have any final words and maybe shoutouts? Um, I want to shout out pretty much everybody on OSD. Everybody that's came together. Vikel, our uh, former manager, still kind of there. Uh, Silent Shoe, the owner. Um, most of the old players that played with us got us to here. And 
pretty much everybody who's cheering on OST coming up in this fight night. Okay, awesome. Thanks a lot.